Portal is one of the most fun and interesting games that has ever been created, but it's also rich with lore and even with history surrounding the game. And we'd like to go a little bit deeper with top 10 Portal facts you probably didn't know. Number 10. Portal is actually based on a game called Nerbicular Drop. It was a senior project of seven students at DigiPen, and they put it up on the internet for people to play, and over the next two years, more and more people played it. Eventually, Valve recruited the entire team to develop Portal, and members of Valve and the students behind Nerbicular Drop created history. Number 9. J.J. Abrams of Star Trek and upcoming Star Wars fam actually made a deal with Valve to produce films based on Portal and Half-Life. Now, it's important to remember that these deals don't always yield a film. Peter Jackson was hired to make a Halo movie, and there is no Halo movie. At least not that I'm aware of. There is a Hitman movie, though. <laughs> Let's not talk about that. Now, this was in 2013, which was the same year that he and Disney announced he was writing and directing Star Wars The Force Awakens, so one has to imagine that plans for one accounted for plans for the other. But between Star Wars, Star Trek, and Mission Impossible, which it has been stated that J.J. Abrams will have a hand in all franchises moving forward, most likely in the position of some kind of producer, one might wonder when he'd have time. Hopefully J.J. Abrams doesn't forget about the Valve deal, because he's actually a pretty good filmmaker. And who wouldn't like to see competent video game movies made? Number 8. In Portal 2, there was going to be an ending where Shell spoke. But it was actually scrapped because playtesters had no idea who was speaking. I don't want to say anything that will spoil things in case anyone hasn't played Portal 2 by now. Which if you haven't, you should! Anyway, the events of the original ending culminated in a blackout, which Shell would say the word yes. Players weren't conditioned to understand she was speaking. So everyone was confused, and they changed it. Probably for the better. Number 7. Portal 2 actually didn't originally include any portals. Which I don't know about you, but I find to be possibly the dumbest sounding ideas I have ever heard in my entire life, and I can't even stress that enough. What on earth were they thinking at the time? Early on, the development team decided they didn't want to include portals in Portal 2, which is a laughable statement. For months, Valve developed on a gameplay mechanic they called the F-Stop, which is a photography term, and being the game took place at a laboratory called Aperture, which by the way, the term F-Stop relates to, they probably had some convoluted story idea. Apparently playtesters liked the f-stop, but hated the exclusion of portals. After feedback, Gabe Newell directed the team not to do this. Number 6. There were alternate endings created or considered where the player would shoot a portal onto the moon's surface. This was one of a few joke endings they actually created. Joke endings were essentially looked at as are they worth it for the work, and the moon ending? Obviously not. Because the idea would have been Shell going through the portal and dying of asphyxiation over a closing song. I don't know about you, but I don't like it when the main character dies in the ending. At least in video games, because you just spent all that time trying to accomplish something. Number 5. Portal actually takes place in Michigan. That's right, Portal 2 takes place in the Upper Peninsula of Michigan, which is basically Canada with less people and no universal health care. In the historical area of Aperture Science in Portal 2, you can actually see a newspaper. The headline reads, Local Entrepreneur Buys Salt Mine, with the byline being, Cave Johnson to bring science, industry to Upper Michigan. The future is here, and it's under the Earth's crust, says Science Maverick. Number 4. That little tidbit of information was actually retconned. In Portal 2, several changes to the story were made, including including where the salt mine that Cave Johnson purchased was. In Portal, though I'm not sure it was explicitly stated, the cave mines were actually in Cleveland, or near Cleveland. I have no comment from the Cleveland Browns, Cleveland Brown, Drew Carey, or blah 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 any other obligatory Cleveland reference. Cave Johnson would likely explain this by saying, Oh now don't worry your pretty little head where the salt mines are. Just get me some pictures of Spider-Man! Number 3. Valve actually invited a bunch of grade schoolers to their offices to make their own portal maps. Now, this is actually kind of funny because in-game there was a bring your child to work day that ended very badly. But honestly, who better to be designing portal levels than children? You know, like, other than Valve designers. <laughs> Whether you consider it a Willy Wonka golden ticket type situation, or just child labor, Cave Johnson would probably approve. Number two, the writer of Portal and Psychonauts, Eric Wolpock, was actually given a 
extended paid leave after telling Gabe Newell about his ulcerative colitis. His new job description at Valve was to get better. Now this was in 2004 and he still works at Valve today. It's funny how when corporations show compassion to their employees, they tend to remain loyal. It's so weird. If only more American companies were like Valve. And number one, Valve actually released a Steam for Schools, a program that teaches children physics and math using Portal 2. I'm pissed off that I'm in my 30s. Do you know how much better that would have been than the dull way they try to teach that crap? Let me play a video game. Do you not realize how important every gamer knows physics are for video games? Okay, use that to teach them physics. Just make sure you give good grades and not cake. Bonus point. Did you know that Shell and Gordon Freeman have the same voice actor? <laughs> What a great joke, right? <laughs> yeah, I know. Thanks. I love Portal. And I love talking like J.K. Simmons. I don't do it perfectly, but who cares? It's fun. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave us a comment and click the like button. As well as subscribe if you haven't already. We upload daily videos and that is very clearly the best way to see them first. And we just want to give you a big thanks for watching this video. As always, we'll see you next time on GameRanks.